welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to help you interpret first degree AB block, second degree AB block types 1 and 2, and third degree AB block. Are you ready? Let's start! Let's talk about first degree AB block. Identifying first degree AB block is very easy. You simply have to remember that the normal PR interval is 0.12 seconds to 0.20 seconds. That is three small boxes to five small boxes in horizontal axis. Now, for the first degree AB block, the PR interval is prolonged. So what do I mean by prolonged? That is the PR interval is greater than 0.20 seconds. The first step is to measure the PR interval. That is from the beginning of P wave to the beginning of QRS complex. Count the number of small boxes. In this example, there are 10 small boxes. Next, we need to compare if the other PR interval is also prolonged and the same in the other beats. For this trip, the next PR interval is also the same with the first one, so it has 10 small boxes. The last PR interval also has the same number of small boxes, which is equal to 10 small boxes. Therefore, we conclude that the PR intervals are prolonged more than 0.20 seconds, and it is also constant. Step 3 is to multiply the number of small boxes to 0.04 seconds in order to get the PR interval in seconds. Therefore, 0.40 seconds is the PR interval of this trip. Now, we conclude that this rhythm is first degree AV block. There is prolonged PR interval, and number two, there is constant PR interval in the remaining beats. Now, let's talk about second degree AV block type one. In second degree AV block type one, there is gradual prolongation of PR interval until a drop beat can be seen. In this rhythm, the first step that we need to do is to measure the PR interval. And the, the next step is to notice that the PR intervals become progressively longer. As you can see, the first PR interval is 0.20 seconds, the next PR interval is 0.28 seconds, and the last PR interval is 0.40 seconds. Step 3 is to note the P wave without QRS complex. That is called drop beat or non conducted P wave. So, in this trip, we conclude that this is second degree AB block type 1, which is also known as Weng Kebab. For you to be able to familiarize it, you simply have to say second degree AB block type Weng. Oh, sorry for that joke, but it really works for me to remember that second degree AB block type Weng is Weng Kebab or type 1. So, in second degree AV block type 1, there is gradual prolongation of PR interval and there is a drop beat. Now, let's proceed to second degree AV block type 2. Second degree AV block type 2, you only have to remember that there is a drop beat or a P wave without a QRS complex. And usually, the PR interval is normal. For this trip, the first step is to measure the PR interval. As you can see, the PR interval is 0.20 seconds and it is equal. Since the PR interval is normal, then th this is not a second degree AV block type 1. Step 2 is to note the drop beat, which is P wave without a QRS complex or non conducted P wave. We therefore conclude that this trip is 2nd degree AV block type 2. 
which has number one drop beat and number two PR interval that is normal or constantly prolonged PR. Don't be confused with second degree AV block type 1 because the PR interval is gradually prolonging, whereas in second degree AV block type 2, the PR interval is either normal or constantly prolonged. In third degree AV block, you simply have to remember that the P waves do not have a relationship with the QRS complex. The first step in this trip is to identify the P waves. Step 2 is to determine if the P to P intervals are regular. For this trip, the P to P interval is regular. The step 3 is to determine if the R to R intervals are regular. The R to R interval is regular. The last step is to know if there is a relationship between the P wave and QRS complex. For this trip, there is obviously no relationship between the P wave and the QRS complex. This is for the reason that the P wave does not come with the QRS complex. First degree AV block, the PR is more than 0.20 seconds. Second degree type 1, drop beat prolonging PR, gradually prolonging PR. Second degree AV block type 2, drop beat constant PR interval. Second degree AV block type 2. If you just realize third degree AV block that there is no relationship between P waves and QRS, just realize in third degree AV block, P to P and R to R intervals are regular. Atropine TCP. Dopa epinephrine, bradycardia with high potential. Transcutaneous spacing, dopa epinephrine, second degree, type 2 and third degree. Please follow my Facebook page, Marie's Lomardo Vlog. Um, in that page, I'm going to share the PDF files of the notes that I'm going to create for the vlog so that it will be much easier for you to follow. I would like to thank everyone of you who creates it sends me private message thanking me for the NCLEX songs that I created. I also want to congratulate um, all of you who passed the NCLEX um, with the help of my NCLEX song. So congratulations 